Samsung just pulled off a move that most people completely missed, but Galaxy fans are already buzzing about it. The latest One UI 8 Beta 3 just dropped for the Galaxy S24 series, and hidden inside is a camera experience upgrade that Samsung didn't even bother to put in the changelog. It's one of those quiet fixes that makes your phone feel smoother without you realizing why, until now. Welcome back, viewers, Sam here. If you love finding out about these secret updates before anyone else, hit that like button, subscribe, and share this video so you're always ahead of the curve. Now, let's dig into what Samsung just changed, why it matters, and what else is coming with the official One UI 8 rollout. So here's the deal, Beta 3 arrived under Build Z1 i3, and while the official notes focused mostly on bug fixes, power users quickly noticed a key camera app improvement. Remember that annoying watermark panel bug where the text overlapped with the options? That glitch is finally gone. It sounds tiny, right? But think about it. That panel lives at the bottom of your camera app, and now it looks cleaner and more polished, exactly how it should have from day one. Samsung never even acknowledged this in the changelog, but users like Carex confirmed the fix. And that's what I love about these betas. Samsung is quietly perfecting things before the big public release. And speaking of big releases, we are closer than ever to the stable rollout. Galaxy S25 users are expected to get one UI 8 first, literally any day now, and Galaxy S24 owners should mark September 25 on their calendar, because that's when the rollout is rumored to kick off. That's the fastest schedule Samsung has ever had for a major OS upgrade. It used to take months for devices outside the latest flagships to get new firmware, but Samsung is clearly trying to push Android 16 to as many users as possible before the year ends. Now here's where things get interesting. One UI 8 is not a flashy, in your face redesign like One UI 7 was. Instead, Samsung is keeping the familiar look and feel, focusing instead on subtle polish and stability. Manus look cleaner, Apps like Gallery now use encircled buttons for a softer look, and the background blur when pop-up menus appear makes the UI feel a little more premium. It's the kind of design work you don't really notice until you switch back to an older version and wonder why everything suddenly feels less smooth. But the real game changer here is Galaxy AI. Samsung is pushing it further with a new feature called Now Brief. Basically your phone's way of predicting what you'll need next. Imagine this. Your phone reminds you to leave early because it knows you usually head to work around 8 a.m. and there's traffic today. Or it lines up your most used apps when you get into the car, ready to go. It's not about flashy chatbots. It's about quietly saving you time. And it doesn't stop there. Samsung is finally bringing features that were once locked to its latest flagships to older devices. Log video recording, which creators love for its professional, great video control, is coming to more phones. Quick Share is getting smarter and faster for transferring big files. Samsung Internet has been redesigned to feel smoother and faster, and DeX now supports higher resolution displays for those using their phones as mini computers. These are small but meaningful updates that make your phone feel future proof. Let's not forget about the fixes either. Earlier betas squashed a ton of frustrating bugs random phone resets, DAC settings not saving. Galaxy Watch 7's weather widget failing to update in real time. Even the Bluetooth squeaking and random disconnects are fixed now. Samsung even tackled those weird lock screen clock stutters that so many users complained about in Beta 6. Sure, there's still a small inconsistency where the standard clock can shift slightly after you set it, but overall it's much better, and it's likely Samsung will smooth this out completely before the final release. And the rollout list, it's massive. We're talking every flagship from the Galaxy S22 onward, S22, S23, S24, why? Plus the S23 FE and S24 FE. Every Z Fold and Z Flip from Fold 4 and Flip 4 onward is in. Mid-range Galaxy A, series devices from the A73 all the way down to the budget A06, A15, and A16 are included. Even tablets like the Tab S10 Ultra, Tab S10 FE, and Tab 89 series are on board. This is Samsung pushing software updates to more devices than ever before, something that even a few years ago felt impossible. And let's be honest, this is exactly what users have been asking for. Apple has had a reputation for supporting older devices for years, and now Samsung is matching that energy, delivering timely updates to almost every Galaxy user. When you combine everything, the cleaner UI, the smarter AI, the wider rollout, the bug fixes, and the speed at which Samsung is delivering, you realize this might actually be Samsung's most important software update yet. It doesn't scream for attention with big flashy new features, 
but it makes your phone feel smoother, smarter, and more reliable. And, and sometimes that's the best kind of upgrade. And that's where I want to hear from you. Are you excited about One UI 8? Or were you hoping for a bigger visual refresh? Let me know in the comments. I read every single one. If you enjoyed this deep dive, hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you don't miss my next video, where I'll be putting now brief to the test in real life to see if it can actually predict my day and save me time. You won't want to miss that one. Thanks for watching. Stay safe, keep your galaxy updated, and I'll see you in the next one.